Giga Texas has had a boring tunnel installed, the purpose of which is to more efficiently move new vehicles from the factory under the central highway and to the west outbound lot for transportation. This work has been going on pretty well and was progressing through the spring and summer with no big issues. But as I discussed in my 9 September video, uh, there was some problems with the road surface panels. And if you want more in-depth information, I would watch that video. But as a recap, this image shows you the road surface panels that were delivered from the Boring Company Bass drop site. This engineering drawing gives you an idea of how these are installed. And again, it provides that road surface for vehicles and covers the utilities at the bottom of the tunnel. Now, they've been using fiber reinforced concrete panels for this purpose. And in my 9 September video, we talked about how they are manufactured, some of the benefits of these concrete and fiber reinforced panels and how they are used. I also showed you various kinds of fiber that can be used within the concrete mix to make these panels, some of the engineering drawings and examples of how these appear. Now, going back to the tunnel, I showed this image of the actual tunnel from the 12th of July, and I also overlaid that engineering drawing next to this tunnel so you get a good view of what these panels look like, how they would be installed, and a comparison to the actual tunnel uh, to really get a good visual of how all of this would operate once they are installed. And this diagram shows you kind of an illustration. Now, on the 31st of July, all of the panels had been installed and things were looking really great. However, one week later on the uh, first week of August, we saw that all of the panels had been removed for some reason. And this is a great shot of that uh, removal work. And I was wondering why, and I soon found out by noticing that the road surface panels had been removed and many of them had cracked right down the middle. And this series of images uh, is a great example of what the problems that they were encountering. This close-up shows you not only the broken panels, but the fact that these were made on the 24th of June, 2024. And uh, this was just before they were installed. And this image, again, shows how they broke and what that broken surface face looked like for these panels. Of course, this was a big setback, and over at the Bastrop site, more work was underway to rectify this particular situation. Now, this video clip from my 24 September video shows you the work that's in progress. Many of the completed road panels have been stored here. They were doing some engineering tests next to the belt cassette at the top of the screen, and this is where they were manufacturing those new panels. And I suppose that they are using a different kind of fiber reinforcing mix and possibly some rebar within the tunnels. This image shows you where they were doing some additional testing. And also, this tunnel where you see the liner truck entering is very interesting to me. This tunnel was uncompleted without road panels when I visited back in the spring. The fact that they are using this tunnel means that they are probably testing out the new panels using this tunnel before going to Giga Texas. The very next day at Giga Texas, I noticed that these road surface panels had been delivered and getting ready for installation. The P that you see shows that it has passed inspection, and the dates are all in the middle part of September, which contrasts with the June dates on the broken panels that I showed you earlier. Now, all of these being delivered here is a great sign that they are getting ready to reinstall these into the tunnel. The other part of the delay is related to the horizontal drilling for the natural gas pipeline. This is being done underneath the tunnel. So with this work, some of the conduit work that has been completed and the road surface panels, we should start seeing these installed into the tunnel very soon. Of course, the front facing has had this dirt ramp installed. Again, the conduit on the left, a fire water loop has been installed, plus the machinery and pipes for the drainage system of the tunnel. So this is very good news for Giga Texas. So there you have it, a quick recap of what is going on with the boring tunnel here at Giga Texas, the problems with the road surface panels, and the rework that was done over at the Boring Company Bastrop site 
plus the redelivery now of these panels for installation. I hope that you found this review helpful and informative. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care.